Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Fighters video. Today we're chilling here with One-Eyed Bandit, and we're gonna want your guys' thoughts on this topic. You see, we're gonna be talking about the future of Dragon Ball Fighters and its DLC, speculating a little bit and kind of throwing some weird ideas out there. But before we get into it, One-Eyed Bandit, why don't you say hello? What's going on, guys? One-Eyed Bandit, I'm chilling with Insert Coin, honestly, and I'm happy to be on his channel right now. Today we're gonna be talking about you and me when we chat about the future of Dragon Ball Fighters and where it could potentially go from here, or if it will even potentially do anything after this newest patch. You got any yeah. thoughts? on the topic specifically well i will say i don't know that's gonna be my my short answer is i don't know but my my thoughtful answer is i want it to happen because i believe more characters will always spice up this game it'll always bring more people to the game because this game is too successful and eventually something will come eventually whether it's in the form of a new game or dlc we don't know yet but i truthfully believe that this game technically isn't finished yet i on my channel we did a video is the patch enough and i think it kind of is for right now because there's so much to look forward to when it comes to dragon ball fighters and there's so many new system mechanics that they have added that you can still explore so when it, when we were doing your video you had mentioned something about how you wish some characters got buffed and i know in one of your previous videos you talked about how that every single old character gets new command normals how do you feel about that? to me all the old characters they're old <laughs> like like you have characters Characters that have been in the game forever, bro. Like even like Bardock and Z Broly. You gotta remember they are DLC, bro. They are DLC, which is nuts to think about. And some of these characters, they're so old to the point where it's like, like again, I'll bring up Bardock. You've seen everything Bardock can do. Yeah. He got power crept to the point where it's like all these characters have gotten better than him. Not necessarily that he's gotten worse. Yeah. Um, and for me, like give Bardock like I don't know a beam or something or better key blast. I would man, take it. the last thing I need in my life is Z Broly with command norm like more command normals. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I mean, like super top tiers don't need it, right? He obviously Z Broly would definitely be an exception to that rule, in my opinion. He's too insane. But I mean, you have characters like Super Saiyan Vegeta also who barely got changed. Switch it up. I don't know. Give him a command grab. You know, you know what he did to Android 19 where he tore off his arms. Yeah. Give him that as like a command grab. Bro, oh, that'd like, be dope. Cause yeah, some wall I, bounce leads to a full combo. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I, I'm, I, I have all these ideas in my head that I think I could make Dragon Ball Fighters a better place if they put it in my hands. Bro. Yo, like, dude, if you got moves like that, if you're assigning moves like that to characters, <laughs> <laughs> get on the deck team. Listen, man. It, it's, I think, and I, I want to make this a video uh, for myself as well, but quote, put it in quotation marks. Dragon Ball Fighters has a problem. Um, I think they should evolve with the show and the anime the movies whatever things like goku blue right obviously he's still kind of the same character that they made in the game but as you give us another patch another update he can get a new move because he's learned new things since the show's been out same thing with golden frieza right like in the show when he gets tired you know he loses yeah. golden form he got over that so it feels like golden frieza evolved with the show i feel like they could do that for other characters as well right. yeah that feels like a, a separate topic as well but you know, you, you no, get what I'm saying. Let's, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's dig into it, right? Why not? Because I mean, this video is all about where Dragon Ball Fighters could go. So let's, let me throw this out there. Some fighting games have different fighting styles for individual characters, mm -hmm. which come with new moves, new features, you know, other such things. Do you think that's something they could implement in Dragon Ball Fighters 2, where maybe Blue Goku has one fighting style and then a second fighting style where he's got the newer stuff he's doing against, you know, for example, um, Super Broly, Moro, mm -hmm. and all those guys? Now, yeah. obviously, the whole entire, you know, different fighting styles for individual characters is a massively ambitious idea and we're, we're, we're kind of just having fun spitballing this sort of idea even though we know it's a little bit unrealistic but definitely in the comments down below let me know what you guys think about that as far as dlc in the future if dragon ball fighters 1 was to get a new dlc what characters would be at your top of the list uh give me all the vegetas honestly <laughs> super saiyan god vegeta majin vegeta and i mean it, it, this is so much farther in the future because they never add things to games unless it's animated but even this new got no, i don't want to kind of spoil it but vegeta <laughs> got a new warning. form yeah vegeta got a new form in the manga if you haven't seen it i really apologize but give me all of the vegetas I, super saiyan 4 vegeta give me super saiyan 4 goku i like vegeta and goku i know people like to hate on the fact that you know we got all these gokus and vegetas but i'm one of those they're the guys most, <laughs> they're the most high, but they're the most high characters they're man i gotta are. be honest i but gotta be honest you can't deny it right even somebody in my own position where i don't like duplicate 
characters, I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's still hype when they come out. I, like, there's no denying that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, put, bringing back your point of what if Fighters 2, just to eliminate that factor, right, of all these different characters that are the same character, um, I know people love their transformations, right? And there is a way that you can implement transformations. They, they could have easily made it to where Spark becomes a legitimate transformation, right? So, like, for me, it'd be like Super Saiyan Goku being able to have Super Saiyan 2 and 3 for his sparking mode or limit break ultimate power transforms, right? Or Super Saiyan Blue would be able to turn UI. That would eliminate having these duplicate characters and some of them would be condensed into one character. And yes, they would technically still be duplicates, but they would be duplicates in one character. And there would be so much more to learn because again, you could you could implement that different fighting style in one character, like you were saying earlier. You know, here on the channel, I put out a video not too long ago talking about how transformations definitely would not work. And I never thought of replacing Spark with a transformation. My whole entire argument was like, it would it would get rid of some of your special moves as, you know, the transformation would be assigned to one of your special moves. Mm -hmm. But if you replace Spark, that, that's a that's an incredible solution. And bro, you gotta think about it like this as well, right? Because Spark, when you Spark, you get different things that can happen to your character. They're not huge changes. Once you Spark, you can cancel moves into a jump, right? Immediately. You can't do that normally. So it would kind of be the same thing. Spark would just mean a different thing in a, in obviously in a different game you gotta look at things like have you ever noticed when master roshi goes into his sparking form he actually does go buff for a split yeah. second same he thing with frieza he goes 100 full power and spark for a full second but just imagine if they stayed that way you know what i'm 100 <laughs> on board with this idea like in dragon ball fighters 2 if they told us hey look characters that don't transform spark and characters that do transform instead of sparking they actually transform i'd be 100 yeah. percent down with that it could even be just visual i mean i I, I would take you know more things added to it but that's all people really want yeah you don't you don't have to make a brand new character but yeah that, that's basically it all right i think that pretty much wraps up the video though let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and don't forget i have one eye bandits links in the description down below be sure to go ahead and check them out great content creator and even better person thank you for having me on the channel this was a really great time i did a video on my channel with him in it as well of course you should subscribe to him as well but anyways guys that's all we got for you thanks for having me man no problem man i'll catch you guys later